Well, hi, boys and girls. It is good to be with you again with story time with Pastor Steve and with all of you, of course. And uh, what a beautiful week we've been having here. I love the warm weather and the sunshine. I hope you had a chance to get out and soak up some of those sun rays as well in the midst of your busyness and your time for playing. Hey, speaking of playing, I've got a little song on the banjo that I wanted to share with you. And let me get my banjo strap. We're getting caught. There we go. And it's just a fun little song that'll start our, our time together. Super free. I'm in the mood to tell a story, and I've got a really good story for us. You know, um, we all have different challenges that come up, different problems, and sometimes it, it gets to be really uh, a lot, and we don't know how to handle our problems, whatever they may be. You know, it may be something with school, maybe something at home, maybe something with a friend, maybe something about the weather, or just something that we're afraid of and we don't know what to do with it. And so this book really is a good one to get at some of those feelings. And we'll see what, what one little boy is able to do when he, um, when he takes a good look and understands his problem. So what do you do with a problem is the name of our story today. Let me show you a picture. So there's the boy, and the little problem is like a little cloud over his head. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't really like having a problem, but it was there. I see sometimes there's nothing we can do. It just kind of shows up. What do we do with that problem? Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought? Oh, it's getting a little bigger. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. There it stayed. Oh. Look at how much bigger it's getting now. I started to worry about my problem. What if my problem swallows me up? Oh, you know, when we start worrying, that becomes its own problem, doesn't it? What if my problem sneaks up on me and gets me and you see him hiding? trying to hide from his problem. My problem is turning the pages today. What if it takes away all my things and look at all of his, his treasures and his toys? Oh, he's worried about that. Will my problem take away my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this, and I worried about that. Have you ever had a day like that? Sometimes we have many days like that. We worry about what could happen, or what might happen. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. Oh my goodness. His problem is getting so big, it's, it, it can't fit on the page anymore. Seems like that problem is 
kind of connected with some of his worrying. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could do. I, I tried to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. Look at that. He's, he's with a, a little, well, a big bear trying to hide with some other things. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time, and it didn't feel good at all. It looks like his problems turned into a thunderstorm, and his umbrella is turned inside out. You can see the lightning and the dark clouds. He's trying his best, but he's trying by avoiding his problem. Then he said, I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't swallowed me up. My problem had not attacked me. So now he's got a whole new attitude. He's, he's in his room. He's writing down ideas. He's getting out his pencil. He's going to figure something out. That looks like a very creative, bright, young boy. Just like you're creative and bright. I realized I had to face my problem. Look at that. He's determined. He's not going to let any problem scare him anymore. All right, let's see what happens next. So, even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. Look at that. He jumped right into his problem. He tackled it to the ground. I wonder what happened. When I got my face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered my problem had something beautiful inside. What a surprise. How could that be? My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn, an opportunity for me to grow, to be brave, to do something. And there he is. He looks, he's more colorful than he was before. He's got more hope, more determination. He sees that his problem is really a chance to have something good happen in his life. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. And there he is with his friends on top of the lighthouse. So now I see my problems differently. I'm not afraid of my problems anymore because I know their secret. Look at that. He looks content. He doesn't look worried at all, does he? Neither does the bear or the fox or the bunny rabbit or his other friends at all. His problem's not as scary as he thought it was. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. And there he is using his spyglass, his telescope on a sailing ship, looking, looking at his problem, looking for what opportunity is there to learn and to grow and to find bravery in that. And I hope 
he liked that story. I thought it was wonderful. So thank you for spending some time with me, boys and girls. And I want to invite you to pray with me. Dear Lord, you know we have so many different kinds of problems in our lives, and many times we make them worse by worrying about them. Help us to look at our problems to see what are something good that can come out of this. And we know, Lord, that you work with us on this, that as we pray to you, uh, you find something good to come out of everything that looks like a problem, an opportunity to grow and to learn and to be brave. And those are all good, good things. We thank you in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, who loves all the boys and girls. Amen. Well, thank you so much for being with me, boys and girls, and have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.